In civil engineering, understanding how soils behave under different loading conditions is very important. For designing safe and stable structures like foundations, embankments and retaining walls. Soil mechanics is all about figuring out and predicting how soil respond to stresses and changes in their environment. One of the important factors to consider when analyzing soil behavior is compressibility, which indicates how a soil's volume changes under applied loads. Compressibility is particularly important for evaluating soil settlement as excessive or uneven settlement can lead to significant structural issues. To quantify and predict the compressibility of soils, engineers rely on an important factor called coefficient of volume compressibility, denoted as MV. When soils are loaded, they compress as water is squeezed out and soil particles are rearranged, reducing the soil's volume. The amount of this volume change depends on the soil's compressibility, which is closely tied to its composition, structure and stress history. The coefficient of volume compressibility tells us how much a soil's volume changes when the pressure on it changes. This is really important for understanding and predicting how much structures built on soil foundations might settle. It is defined as the negative fractional change in volume of soil per unit change in effective stress acting on it. The negative sign is there because when pressure increases, the volume typically decreases. Here, delta V is the change in volume of soil, V0 is the initial volume of soil and delta sigma prime is the change in pressure on the soil. We can see that if change in effective stress is constant, then a higher value of MV will result in larger volume change in soil. Conversely, a lower value of MV will result in smaller volume change. So it can be said that soils with higher MV value are more compressible, meaning even a small change in stress can lead to a large change in their volume and vice versa. Additionally, clay soils are generally more compressible than sandy soils. So clay soils typically have higher value of MV than sandy soils. This is because clay particles are smaller and have a platy shape, allowing them to rearrange and compress more easily under increased stress. In contrast, sand particles are larger and more granular, leading to less compressibility. Furthermore, the water content of the soil can also affect its compressibility. Soils with higher water content are generally more compressible. This is because water acts as a lubricant between soil particles, allowing them to rearrange more easily under the applied load. In coefficient of volume compressibility, the term delta V by V0 is called volumetric strain. Now let's rewrite the equation in different words. Here, Total volume of the soil, V0, can be expressed as the sum of volume of voids and volume of solids. If we divide both the numerator and denominator by volume of solids, Vs, we can see that in the numerator, delta V by Vs represents the change in void ratio. And in the denominator, volume of voids divided by volume of solids represents the initial void ratio of the soil. This is also an important relationship to remember. Further, if we remember, this quantity is coefficient of compressibility of soil. So we can write, 
This gives us a relationship between AV and MV, coefficient of compressibility and coefficient of volume compressibility. Since void ratio is a unitless quantity, the unit of MV is the same as that of AV, which is meter square per kilonewton. Like coefficient of compressibility, AV, the coefficient of volume change or volume compressibility, MV, depends on the effective stress at which it is determined. Its value decreases as the effective stress increases. While AV provides similar information about the soil compressibility, MV is more commonly used in practice. This is because MV directly relates the change in volume of a soil to the change in effective stress. Support elementary engineering on Patron and get access to the questions that I have solved related to this and other topics. Also, your support will help me continue creating more such valuable contents. You can find the links of the books and the sources I referred for the creation of this video in the description. Read coefficient of volume compressibility of soil at elementaryengineeringlibrary.com. Thank you.